Welcome back to our ninth video in our WordPress tutorials. Today, we're going to learn how to create a post in WordPress and how to publish it. Just to recap, let's quickly explain the difference between a page and a post. Pages are typically used for static and permanent content, such as an About Us page, a Contact Us page, or for example, a Shipping and Returns page. Pages are best suited for content that doesn't change too frequently and is meant to be easily accessible from a website's navigation menu. Posts, on the other hand, are used for dynamic content such as blog articles, news updates, or any content that you want to be organized by date and is frequently updated. Posts are typically displayed in reverse chronological order on a blog page, with the most recent posts appearing first. Posts can be categorized and tagged, making it easier for visitors to find related content. More on this in the next video. To create a new post, simply go to your dashboard, click on Posts. Here you will see five options. All Posts shows all the posts you have posted so far. Since we have no posts, it's not showing anything. Hello World is a default post in the word press theme. We will delete it as it's off no use. Add New with AI is a relatively newer option in WordPress. This is used to help you create a post with AI. However, we will use ChatGPT to generate AI content as it's a lot easier and gives better results. So we will not use this option. And the third option is Add New. We click this to add a new post. Please note that the remaining two options, categories, and tags will be discussed in our next video. So let's create our first post. Click on Posts and then click on Add New. This is the same interface that was shown when we created a page. It looks the same and has the same options. The only difference is that this is for your post. We already downloaded the pictures from the image websites that we showed you in the last video for this post. We also have used ChatGPT to create content for our post. Since our website is about leather products and leather jackets in particular, we will post an article about how to take care and maintain your leather products. Let's copy the text from ChatGPT. Now let's paste the entire text to our WordPress post. Click on Publish on the top right side. On the right side, there are a few options that we should quickly go over. The first one is Visibility. It has three options, Public, Private, and Password Protected. This option here, Password Protection, is useful when you don't want the general public to access specific page or post content within your WordPress website. This option can be used, for example, if a certain page has exclusive content for a specific group of users or if you have premium paid subscribers who get exclusive content. Click on Private if you want only the website admins and editors to see the post. This is useful if more than one person is adding content to a particular post and it's not fully ready to be published. If you are making a website for people to see, it does not make any sense to keep your post private or password protected. So we will click on Public. Press Publish again. Go to the website and refresh the page. Okay, that looks like our post, but it looks like it needs a lot of work. We need to add images and give a few headings to give it a good professional look. Let's head back to our WordPress dashboard page. Click on All Posts and edit the post. Let's add a featured image, just like we did on our page. Click on Featured Image. Remember, as we add more and more images, they will start showing up here in our media library. Let's use the free images that I downloaded. Click Upload Files and select the files where the images are. Click Set, Featured Image, and then click on Update. Go to your website, 
refresh, see any difference. Now let's edit the text. Go to your dashboard. Let's first change the size and color of the text. It's too small, and let's make it black. Go to your right side where it says Block. No block selected. Remember, you need to select the block first, then go on the right side and click on Text, and let's change it to black. OK. And now let's go change the size off the text. Let's check Medium. How about Large? Let's select Medium, click on Update, and now we can repeat the same for the rest of the text. Let's also underline the different subheadings. Go to the block, highlight it, and press Ctrl U. Don't forget to update. Now, let's suppose you need to insert an image in the text. Go to where you want to insert an image. Highlight that block. You see those three dots up here. Those are your options. Click on them and click on Add After. Now you have a new block which you can add to your image on. See the plus sign on the right. Press on it and it click where it says Image, then click on Upload Image, and let's add an image which we had already downloaded earlier. Don't forget to update. Let's go see what the difference is on our website. Refresh it. I think this image is too big. Let's go back to our dashboard to the right side. It says resolution, large, medium, thumbnail. Let's go from medium and update it. And let's check our website now. So, depending on the size of the image you want, you can change it. If you want to add a caption to your image, click this icon and enter the caption. Hit the Update button. If you click this icon here, it says Alignment. You can align the picture to the center, left, right, or show at full width. Let us add two images at once and see how that is done. Go to the block where you want to add the image. Click on the plus sign. Click on Image. Click on Upload and select the picture. Click on Resolution to change the size and if you want to add three or four pictures, you may want to select a smaller size. Go to the top and click on the three dots, which are the options. Click on Duplicate, go to the duplicate image, and on the top it says Replace. Click on it and select your second image. You can repeat the process if you want three or four or more pictures. Let me show you another website of ours. It is gunholster.co. This is how your website should look like after you post a good number of articles. There are approximately 40 blog posts on different subject matters related to gun holsters. If you click on the post, it will take you to the detailed articles.
The posts can also be accessed from the menu, which is categorized accordingly. Today, we learned how to create, edit, modify, and publish a post. Posts are a useful way to share information, connect with your audience, and reach your website's goals. These goals could include sharing what you know, selling things, or building a group of people who share common interests. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. We appreciate your feedback, so drop your questions and thoughts in the comments below. See you in the next video.